Well, kids, this one is going to go down in history. Well, you can't win them all. I certainly don't. Uh, but this is uh, this is a good one. This is going to make great video on the Striper Blues. What do we think, sports fans? Spring thaw? Maybe? Maybe? Um, we are uh, we're headed down to the um, to the Chesapeake. We're going to launch out. We're going to go up the Chester River, way up. We're going to go to Morgan Creek and head all the way up there. There is a um, there's a, uh, a uh, fish management area up there. There's a lake and it looks like an impoundment and a few bridges. I don't know if the striper blues can get up that shallow. We'll see, but we're gonna go on all the way up there to where I'm, I'm fairly certain that the water's pretty fresh and see what we can get on. It's gonna be in the 50s today um, and we may get lucky. We may not get lucky, but we're gonna have a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, somewhere along the way, we may pick up uh, Professor Sanctimony. I'm not sure. Um, I called him to apologize about uh, sort of abusing him on the uh, on the video a little bit, uh, but I did tell him he needs to kind of tone the, uh, the scientific uh, superiority rhetoric back a bit. You know, for the viewers, they don't like uh, making them feel like they're stupid like me. Anyhow, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, we also may have a little uh, a little special feature for you guys about something that's important. Every now and again, I'm going to give you an in my opinion, uh, op-ed, if you will, uh, according to uh, Captain T's, uh, you know, plethora of opinions. So we're going to hit the trail right now, and uh, we're leaving the hideout, and uh, we should be there in about an hour and a half. And we are actually in a really good time because we got to get on up that Chester River. All right, sports fans, check in with you later. Salutations, sports aficionados. Tis I. Professor Seymour Sanctimony out for another swim upstream with Captain T. All right. Hot diggy. Nice quiet time, pretty sunshine. So, hey, let's have our very first, in my opinion, by Captain T. So, in my opinion, by Captain T. The opinions of Captain T and the crew of the Striper Blues are only those of Captain T. Uh, not even the crew of the Striper Blues. Nor any of Captain T's relatives, friends. I don't really have all that many friends. But anybody associated with Captain T. It's just my opinion. Okay? Take it for what it is. Opinion. So, <clears throat> the opinion today is going to be cast upon self-improvement reformation getting better being a better person stuff like that there real important stuff so captain t does not believe in new year's resolutions captain t believes in uh you say you're going to do something you do it that's the end of it you don't need the new year to start it you don't need birthday to start it anniversary to start it, anything like that um what you need is to have it come from inside so how does that work for for me it was changing my vocabulary not my vocabulary but, but getting rid of profanity specifically i grew up with a pretty much a potty mouth and that is an outward manifestation of maybe some other things huh right a lot of people would say that so um i don't necessarily disagree with them i don't necessarily agree with them i only knew that for me i needed to be a better person if ever cat the tea wants to be pop pop captain t take my grandchildren out i can't be running around with a potty mouth and return my grandchildren back to their parents you know dropping f bombs and s bombs and every other darn bomb right can't do that captain t needs to be a more polite person get rid of all the language that is negative bad whatever be a more positive person so that was hard at first it was harder than uh, than, uh getting off a of nicotine habit i'll tell you that was really tough so, uh, but this was probably even tougher because I had to retrain my brain how to think. And in order for my mouth to not say those four letter expletives, um, I had to change my mind. But when it comes to doing something like this, which is changing something to make you a better person, it takes more than that. You gotta change the heart. So, question for my vast viewing audience. How many
many people you know quit smoking, quit drugs, or quit drinking, or quit gambling, or you know, quit uh, spousal abuse or any other nasty, rotten, horrible behavior um, that didn't want it. None. There's a lot of people around you that want you to do it. It's not enough motivation. It's got to come from inside. So it's got to come from the heart, which, in, which informs the head, which then informs the behavior. Um, you all can disagree with me. That's fine. You can put your comments down below. Hey, don't forget to crush that like button and share this video for other people who are looking for self-improvement. Look, if a vice-ridden maggot like Captain T can change his behavior, something like profanity, and I grew up with profanity, if you can change, if I can change that behavior, you all can do it too. Start with that. Start with something small. Uh, to take bigger steps. You know, there out. But that's the end of the the opinion sports fans it all begins with the heart you got to change the heart because if there's nothing in here then this doesn't matter right okay that's it take it for what it's worth you don't like it tune into some other channel captain t out Well, sports aficionados, see what happens when you do not pursue these species at the appropriate seasons of the year. We are literally stuck in the mud. Captain T threw me overboard to try to dislodge the vessel from this mud bank to no avail. And so I am sitting here doing the New York Times crossword puzzle in under 20 seconds because I am a man of superior intellect. So we hope that this will be a lesson to Captain T. Make sure you don't go up Morgan Creek when the tide is falling. This is folly, complete folly. So we wait. We await the incoming tide and the rescue of the SS Minnow. Ha ha ha.
<laughs> Stranded in the Morgan. Branded a fool. What will they say? Monday at school. Lisa, baby. I sit and wonder why, I, 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 why am I such an idiot? Oh, Lisa. <laughs> Let's fish. Captain T's hand puppet. My name is Raggedy Man. Stuck here on a mud bar. Yeah. Stupid? Yeah. I can't believe it. Captain T got me stuck here. What a donkey's butt he is. He can't curse, so we gotta be good about such things. Anyhow. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Here's what Captain T did to his beautiful striper blues. Look at that beautiful blue. It looks great against the black brown mud. Totally flipping stuck.
Oh, sports fans, that was exciting. Exciting as heck, about as exciting as it gets uh, without bringing fish to hand. But uh, Captain T uh, was aground on the mud. Captain T's life was in danger exactly zero times. The only part that was scary was because the Captain T has no experience driving at night. But I followed the nice towboat people all the way home to the Narrows until it was extremely well lit and I could navigate very easily to the dock. So it was good, guys. There was no there was no problem here. I was just stuck in the mud. It's more embarrassing than anything. But you uh, you, you take these experiences and you, you grow from them. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, so that is a very, very rich fishery up there and something that we have to do again. Um, the surface of the water, the, the water temperature was still a bit cold. It was only 50. I thought we were going to get warmer, but we didn't get it. So we didn't get it, but we keep going at it. And we definitely got something, you know, for the archives of the Striper Blues uh, with the shipwrecking of the, uh, the Striper Blues. But she's in fine shape. And, uh, and so am I. Um, a little rattled on that ride home, uh, which was very scary and definitely going to be the rationale for... A, a, a bigger safer boat with, uh, with additional navigation stuff like radar and flare but sports fans uh, this is what it's all about you got to take the good with the bad and it was a lot of fun and nobody got hurt and as Shakespeare said all's well that ends well Captain T says that too I love you all T out